we're we live in a very specific world with um, male um, issues. Um, this this is like a different approach that I tried to um, express. Hello and welcome to the Berlinale Meets. My name is Michael Stütz and I'm the head of the Panorama section of the Berlin International Film Festival. And today we are welcoming here the director from Israel, Hadas Ben Aroya, with her film All Eyes Off Me. Hadas Ben Aroya has been studying at the Steve Tisch School in Tel Aviv and also was an actress awarded, among other awards, the Israeli Film Award for Best Supporting Actress. Uh, this is her second feature-length film. Her first feature-length film, People That Are Not Me, which in, she also starred in, uh, was presented at the Locarno Film Festival and uh, at many other film festivals in the world. And this is her second feature, and we are very happy to welcome her here in Berlin. Welcome to the Berlinale Meets. It's a pleasure having you here. Maybe you can describe your film in two, three brief sentences, what it's about. So the film is following um, the character, uh, three main characters. So the first episode we see Danny, who's looking for Max in a party in order to tell him uh, that she's pregnant with him. But Max is already uh, in a new relationship with Avishag. Um, and he's trying to fulfill her, her sexual fantasy, a uh, wild sexual fantasy. But Avishag also have someone else in mind, and she's trying to build a build a, a different, a totally different relationship with someone else. Avishag? 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 What the fuck? I don't know the code. How did you know? I don't know, I forgot it. What did you do? Did you break the door? No, I didn't break it. I I started with writing about this really young woman, a mysterious woman, um, and very, uh, I, I would say, sexual, uh, that she's very um, fascinated and in love with this much older man. And then I came out with this, uh, a different kind of narration, a different kind of format to tell a story, which is telling Avishag's story, the main character's story, by other people. So there's actually three episodes in which, in each one, there is a main character and they're all telling their stories, but they're actually telling Avishag's stories. We're going with her and, and then we can see like a panoramic view of a generation. Was it something very natural to you to, you know, to, to depict sexuality in a way like this, you know, where it's very something that you explore, that you are curious about, that there are no societal norms, but maybe in the end there are still norms that kind of, you know, bind us in the end. Yeah, I'm very much interested in sexuality um, because I feel that sexuality is always um, a mirror for a, a lot of other things as we know, but 
I think the core of what interests me the most is, is what is intimacy. And I think that this is also the quest of the main character, how intimacy is shifted between generations in a sense. I mean, I feel like at the end, intimacy is being fragile in front of someone. And I find it fascinating. And I find sexuality being a really uh, effective, you know, reflection of how we uh, act in the world and what we want and what we cannot achieve. I find it really an affecting tool <laughs> to, to show that. So at the end, she's not having sex, but she's the most exposed as she can get. With, with the actors that you work with, which, you know, asks a lot of trust, I would, I would assume, you know, and, and, and must take a lot of time. So I would be interested what the time frame was, you know, how you were able to work with the actors, how, was, how much yeah. rehearsal was there and how did you prepare them for the shoot? And we, did, we did the whole thing through a month, which is crazy, but we just pulled it out, <laughs> pulled it off in a month, which, yeah, I was super lucky in that sense. We just um, really bonded well, the whole crew and cast. The, the, the protagonist, her name is Elisheva Weil, and she's a very good friend of mine. And she kind of casted herself. She said, I want to do that. Because at first I thought I'm going to act in it because it's easier for me to cast myself because I know I'll, it will be really, you know, it will be easier. Um, but she said, no, you're a director, <laughs> be a director. I'm an actor, let me act. And I was like, okay, like I, it wasn't my decision in a way, which is funny. And then we started to, we wanted to find a guy. I mean, Max. And then she came out, like we were in Jerusalem at the film festival, actually, and she had this idea uh, of a guy who's just like starting his career. And we met him and they became a couple in real life. So while casting him as her partner in the film, we also casted him as her partner in real life. They had chemistry between them that you cannot fake. What was important to you visually, you know, while framing certain images within, I say, let's a room or an apartment or a house. And was there something maybe that you envisioned that you definitely did not want to end up to be in the film? You know, it's we always ask, what did you want to do? What was your vision for it? But, you know, sometimes I think it's also important or interesting to hear if there was something that was clear to you that you did not want to champion or did not want to bring forward into the film? I, I would say um, my biggest fear was in the second part. <clears throat> I find it uh, the hardest to, to make decision about, um, about how the shooting will be because the scene is a, a really rough sexual experience. And you really need to be very delicate with how you shoot it because it can really easy, easy be porn. And we don't want that, of course. But I also don't feel I can shoot sex scene without showing body. I don't like hiding, but I don't like showing too much. And I want it to be very, that, that you cannot point the finger of, is she enjoying it or she doesn't? Is it a pleasure? Is it a game? Is, is she suffering? Is, is it against her will? I want it to be very unclear. And we uh, made tests for that. So we brought the actors and we shot it. And then I brought it to my editor and we edited it. And it was so bad because it was, um, we showed too much. While trying to bring like different angles, it looked like a disaster. And then we, need, we realized that we only need two angles. 
we need to keep it as simple as possible. We need to have long shots and we need to see at the end her, her face. We decided to make her face at, at the long shot of the sex scene very dark. So it's un, you, can, you literally can't see what she feels until the end. And while really simplifying that, we were able not to hide anything, but also not to show. And then it will not be porn. And it also will not, uh, it will be ambiguous in the sense of what she feels. And that was a really important test that we made because this was really delicate also for the actors. I mean, he really hit her. If he wouldn't hit her, it would not look good. And that was a really hard task for me as a director because I really hurt my actors and I felt maybe it's an unmoral thing to do. I mean, we finished that scene crying. The whole crew was crying. The DOP was crying. The actors were crying. Everybody were with tears because it was so hard to do. And I felt really bad, but, but at the end, I feel this was the right choice. Like when you are directing, you always go between the, between really hard decisions to make. Well, it's, it's very, <laughs> extremely interesting to hear. And thank you for, for being so open about this journey. Is there anything already lined up next for you? Any new projects on the horizon that you're thinking about to do after now? Uh, All Eyes yeah, Off Me yeah. will be released. Yeah, so the, the biggest and anticipated uh, project that I'm working on uh, is uh, my third project, uh, third feature film called Nymphy, will, which will be an entirely shot in Berlin. And it's already funded. Uh, so I'm actually waiting for the pandemic to be over. <laughs> And then I could shoot it. It have to be during summer. So hopefully I would shoot it next summer. Um, so my third feature film uh, will be like the biggest uh, thing that I'm waiting for. Other than that, I have a TV show, a TV series that I'm working on for Israel for hot broadcast. And that TV show is dealing with um, the effect of the Me Too movement. I mean, what happened a bit after? I mean, what it made the world now? Um, so it's mainly about how guys are terrified by, be, by being accused as rapists and by women being terrified by getting raped. Um, so that's the main uh, core and, and my feature film will deal with uh, a young woman who's going to Berlin and uh, to go wild because she doesn't have anything in her life. And then she meets a poet, an Israeli guy and they fall in love and they go to a really wild journey together, um, which goes to really extreme places. Uh, it's also about sexualities and, and like the things that are about intimacy and the things that did, that I'm dealing with, but in a different uh, approach. And I'm really looking forward to, to shoot it already. Wow, there's a <laughs> lot of things happening soon, which we are very much looking forward to. And thank you so much for the interview today and for this absolutely wonderful, intimate, beautiful film. Thank you very much, Alice, for being here. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure.